is a uh, a thing which can store the value with the uniqueness feature so if you add it also it will be treated as a what you can say uh, same multiple elements with the same same value so then it is treated as a um, one value so here we have some set methods is there so like uh, this is the a b c d e f g a b c d e f g is a again a is there so it will be treated as a one value so that is the uh, where is that console dot log right right click inspect we will go to the console so object value is a seven is there so i want to add a new element so how to add so a b c is a my set object dot add bracket value z i will add now is now the uh, this object where size is a uh, seven now it will become a eight because of z is the new value control s will go to the console see here now it's become a eight so i will add a one more value abc dot add of y now value will become a nine so here it is a nine okay so this is called a, a set add method is there okay so again we have a, uh, many methods so if you want to go for like uh, this you can go for the complete reference if you want okay the next major thing we are going to be discussed with the map what is a map set and map are almost all storing the or creating the object only so there is a, a slight difference is there so that is a index 17 dot html and the document control s h2 the map object okay what is the map object map object holds a key value pair where each key can be any data type what is the data type like a integer like that okay so what is the sentence a map is a key value pair where each key can be any data type okay so this is a sentence you know so then we will understand the concepts so how to create a map so again we'll go for the script constant something fruits equals to bracket sorry uh, we need to we are creating an object right so new what is the object earlier it is a set now is a map bracket open close brace then again we are going with the apple you can give any uh, uh, any va uh, okay, value here 200 like that so you can copy paste control c control v control v like that apple mango orange okay so here key also you have to change just a minute okay so here the key pair value will be stored here so like uh, the next key value is one two save it right click okay so now we have created a the object map object okay so then how to display so i will just first will check for the 
CLG and uh, the map object values. Okay, so if you want to display means we have to pass the uh, like um, any key value pair or key or value we need to pass it here. So here the map object value B is a uh, so what is the object name? The object name is a fruit. So then I want to print the index value. So here I can print the apple. So right click, open it the play server. So map we are not using much. So set we are oftenly we are using with the object. Why? Because uh, See, uh, why we are using the, uh, this is a set in the sense, if you take an example of this one, uh, if you want to take RR data to store, if you want to store the student uh, information to store, so there you are going to be, um, take care of uh, uh, what you can say, uh, duplicate, you, you don't have to uh, uh, add a duplicate value, okay. So the key pair value is a uh, duplicate. Uh, we we need to store the we cannot store the duplicate values. So that is the one thing. Okay. So now uh, this is how to print this one. But I want to get this uh, specific object. So for that the constant x equals to what is the object? Fruit is an object. Then I want to get the specific element get bracket so i need to pass the uh, value so how to pass the the apple so x is containing now so just i want to pass the x control s okay so again uh, uh, it is getting the value so the 200 it is there so if you want to pass the uh, specific value then you can pass the uh, specific uh, name here okay so map object you I think you no need to worry so just understand what is a map it is storing a key pair value but you have to work on like you should know the set object because you are oftenly you are using this one okay so now I want to create an index 80 dot html and uh, uh, document the next topic is a uh, uh, we have a map methods as well so we are not discussing more on that one because if you want to discuss the methods all the methods means it is taking a lot of time okay so for that uh, we have to like uh, we are using the most uh, like uh, frequently used uh, what you can see uh, methods we are using so next we will come the uh, javascript regular expression the js regular expression see just will tell the what is the regular expression so if you want to go for the deeper way so if you just go to the official website of reg, uh, reg x What is the reg, uh, regex in the sense? So you might see in the application like that, okay, in the form or something like that. The minimum like a mobile number should be there, and in the email, so that is a character and add symbol and a dot com should be there, and uh, your password should be six length character only, and uh, you should not exceed the maximum number of characters. So these things and all, so it is going to be. Uh, clear like, that is the expressions we are going to be uh, written with a this is called a regular expression so that is we are going to be discussed here so uh, not much so we already seen that is a search method and all so same thing so that is a regular expression will come I will give an example so I will just take a one script okay 
I will take a uh, font chart or else let uh, x equals to welcome to bitstream io techno losses okay so here uh, we are going to be apply the uh, what you can say the regular expression okay so i want to find the let n equals to what is the string x is the string then i want to use a one method so these are all called the regular expression bit string i o okay so now document dot right of n control s right click open with the live server okay so what is the mistake so we are using a capital b stream io here we using a small b stream io so that's why it is showing a 3 it is telling a, a tenth. Okay, so how it is tenting? 0, 1, sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, tenth. So here it is telling a, the value of a tenth index, it is going to be start. So, like that, so we have uh, so many things to uh, regular expression method. So if you want to go miss so there is a uh, what you can say complete one tutorial only you will get you just go for the google and you will get it okay the next will comes a javascript this keyword what is a this keyword see this keyword it will act as an object it can uh, I refer to an object and it is referred to a function it is refers to it in a class okay so that is we are going to be discussed here I want to take a one example see I want to represent a, this keyword with respect to the object so what is a, this so this is a keyword if you just answer this one if anyone else what is a, this this is a keyword so it is used with the object, it is used with the functions, it is used with the classes. Okay, so now I want to create a uh, object called a person equals to bracket. I will take a, a FIRST first name colon Virat. Kohili and I will call a one function name called a full name colon bracket open close brace so uh, I need to return this one or return this dot first name and this dot last name okay this is the full name written this dot first name this dot last name so now how to what it is it is there so we are referring with this and here it is the first name is there here it is the uh, what you can say uh, uh, object is there so what is happening here okay so just i want to display the this object values okay then but I want to represent the how the this will works okay so here first name is Virat last name is Koili full name is a uh, function okay full name is a function 
and it is returning the first name and last name. Okay. So how to represent now here document dot get element by id dot inner sorry okay so i am returning inside a function so that is why it is throwing an error because so this function is started here and it is ending here so here document dot get element by id of demo dot inner html equals to here i want to fetch the object so person dot first name or person dot last name so if you want to uh, like the if you want to access the object name you have to use the object name and the property name object name property name but by one action i need to call all those things for that person dot full name means it is a function it function it is returning a this dot first name this dot last name what does it mean it means document dot get element by id demo in a list table uh, person dot full name is there okay so this is how it will work okay document dot get element by id person is an object full name is a method function return this dot first name this dot last name <coughs> okay so here what happening here uh, it is returning the value first name and this is returning the last name then what is this see that is why this is the keyword it is used with respect to the class with respect to the function with respect to the uh, uh, what is called uh, uh, function sorry variable now here what happens so, so this is again it is represented as an object only what is that object person so indirectly that this is equals to the person so i want to get the full name in that full name i am returning the two values first name and last name i am combining so that is i am fetching in the full name function so here what then what is this so this is referring to the immediate object so what is immediate object person is an object so this dot first first so this dot first name means what person dot first name and the, this dot last name means is equals to the person dot last name but uh, this one we can't access inside so that is why we are using a reference variable at uh, this okay so here what happens uh, this it will represent again the uh, first name last name full name this one again this one will be represented as a for person object only so that's why it will, full name will return the first name and last name so that is it is given to the person object so here it will display like this okay so this is called uh, um, this is a keyword it is used to uh, what you can say uh, reference to the immediate object okay the next will come the javascript arrow function what is a javascript arrow function so in the react sorry in the javascript to, uh, all the advanced javascript is there, no? they are using uh, this feature only that feature is called a uh, arrow function okay where it is introduced so arrow function is introduced in the uh, es6 and arrow function allows us to write a shorter function so what is a function we already know function is a piece of code to perform a specific task then what is a function uh, arrow function arrow functions also yeah anyone having a doubt yeah yeah rakesh ask me yeah okay yeah
Yes. Ah. Yeah, okay, sure. Super. So here, what is my object name? The object name is a person. Okay. So now, I want to fetch a first name and last name. What is the normal method? The normal method, I can use a person dot first name and a person dot last name. So here it is not printing. So if you want to print here, so here uh, h1 hash demo. Control L, control S, control S, right click, open with a live server. See the Virat Kohli, it is printing. But I don't want to call uh, two times the first person dot first name and person dot last name so here i will use a person object and so this is a person object so here is a full name it is acting as a function name that is a full name bracket now in the full name it is returning the value what this what is a this this it is referring to the immediate object okay what is that immediate object person so if i mouse over means you will see here again first name string last name string full name is there so this dot first name means it will fetch the virat virat and uh, this dot this means what person this dot last name means it is fetching the coily so it will return the virat and coily to the full name of uh, function so that it is going to be written and it is attached to here so that is here it is displaying here so document dot get element by id so in the deeper way i will tell this what is the document what is the document get element by id so just understand document get element by id means it is going to be refer the id demo where is the demo here it is so this is the display purpose and a person is an object full name is a method what it is returning so it is returning a first name and a last name okay so any doubts in this one okay so if you're not clear means if you have a doubt you can still ask no issues yeah okay super okay the next will come the arrow functions what is that one so this is very important your react is using a this function only arrow function first i will write a normal function <clears throat> okay what is a normal function so i have one function something called add open close brace so then uh, return a uh, sorry i will pass a two variable uh, int a comma int b Sorry, there it is not a, uh, okay, just I will pass the two variable, okay, so that in return or else I will do one thing, let x equals to a plus b, okay, I will pass a document dot. Uh, get an element by id demo in html so add of a 200 comma 300 see demo already we are using so i will use a one more attribute called a demo one and i will use a h1 hash demo one okay see what is the short end writing uh, so you need to pass uh, like instead of writing h1 and uh, id and uh, demo so instead of that one so you just use a h1 hash demo means it is going to be printed like this so a demo one i will use so now what happens so once it is okay this is already running you know this one. once it will come here this is called a function declaration 
it will not call the func function declaration first it will call the function calling so function calling means it is calling the function add method and passing the 200 in the a location and 300 in a b location 200 plus 300 that is added to the x so that is it has to be print so i will just read, uh, type written here okay i will just remove this one control s okay so now what happened uh, it has to be print the value 500 see here how it is happening see you you forget about for a while uh, this program it will come here it will not read this one line first it will call so see it will read but actual call will be happened here so it will call the add function 200 and 300 replaced here and uh, what it will do a plus b so 200 plus 300 added and it is returned to here and that's it which is attached to the demo one so that is why it is displaying here got it so this is a one method of uh, what you can say uh, normal function same function i will call uh, with the arrow function but i will change it for the subtraction let let i will take a uh, one my arrow function so i have taken like this so my arrow that is a a double r of arrow function okay so here i will pass the like this bracket and uh, oh, what is the value sorry we are calling two times so here i want to call the uh, a minus or else i will use a x minus y so again i need to pass the x comma y okay so then i will use a one more document dot get element by id bracket a demo three dot inner HTML equals to I will call this my arrow function bracket okay I need to pass the x value is 500 and y value is 200 so I need to pass the demo 3 uh, I need to define the demo 3 as well so here I will come h1 hash demo 3 control s will go here I will close all those things so here what happens 300 is defined so here what happens for the one function I have written normal javascript function so this is these many lines are there i will just short it out format document okay so this is a function one two three like that so it is printing so i am printing in the only one line again my arrow function is a function name and i am passing the x comma y value so what is the x comma y value 500 200 so 500 is replaced here 200 is replaced here and 500 minus 200 is the return value is what 300 that is 300 is returned to my arrow so that is it is displaying in the uh, my demo 3 here okay so this is how it is going to be with the value okay so uh, this is how we can uh, use the what you can say javascript the arrow function okay now the why we are using this arrow function is simple it is writing a one short uh, line so we are writing everything written keyword and uh, we are passing the function name or again function keyword and everything so instead of this 
this one you can define like this okay so this is called the, the arrow function so what is that this is the function name see this is as a this add function or else I will just return I will just comment it okay I will just comment whole thing I will just change to the add function okay my arrow function is there x comma y so here just i will pass the plus symbol so it is acting as an add so even i want to change this one so just change this one as add okay add x comma y so here a comma b is there so that is why here it is a x comma y if you want to change that one also control d a and b see it will reflect same as above function see add a comma b a plus b what is the a value 500 b value is 200 500 plus 200 700 so that will be written the 700 in the location of a h3 here okay so here we are writing a two to three lines so here we are writing it the only one line and a lesser return of a function function name and everything okay so this is called a um, what you can say uh, arrow functions okay so the next is what a so javascript classes so in the detailed way we are going to be get this one the next major topic is uh, so that is very important and telling that uh, h2 the json what is the json so json is a what is a json json is json is a javascript object notation i will just change this one control x so json is a json json is a not a json is a, a javascript object notation so what is means see throughout your application whatever the software applications they are using so this is a, a json object only what is the json object in sense i will just show you so if you take a facebook if you take a instagram netflix hotstar anything so there they are using a, a json objects only so what is the json format if i just go here json placeholder click here how it looks json already i have shown and i explained also see again it is the same as a javascript only so this is one json object so javascript object also same thing that is a key value pair in the javascript what happens only the value will be having a double quote okay in the uh, normal javascript object only value will have a double quote but the property name is not having a double quote but yeah, where it is it is in the javascript object but in the json both the key and value should be in the double quote key is in the double quote value is in double quote so key is in the uh, double quote value is in double quote but here one is not there means this is the number is the that is why they have not mentioned so if you want to mention the number as a string that the type you have to use a double quote okay here json object is a one thing so which can store the key pair value with the double quote and you can say it's similar to the javascript object uh, whereas in the json we are using the key pair value along with the both sides double quote in the javascript so we are not using a key pair we are using a key pair value but double quote is only for the value not for the properties or a property name okay so then how to create a one json object so simple already in the last session i have explained so i will just 
give an example constant constant temp equals to i will take a okay i will take a person only person equals to i will create a one json object f i r s t first name job last name okay same i will take this one see person already is there person what i will take so this one is a javascript object but i want to convert it to a json so first name is virat and the last name last name is a kohli and a, okay so what is the difference so this is also person and it is showing a virat kohli a virat and kohli and this is also a, one object only but a json object this is a javascript object and this is a, a java a json object what is the difference so here the value is only in the double quote whereas in the uh, json object key and value both are in the double quote and uh, we are using a uh, one more thing called a uh, uh, mobile number i will use a uh, first i will use a uh, mobile number mobile number uh, something called a uh, Let's say this is a, a JavaScript object. So if you want to make it in JSON, double quote, double quote. Okay. So this is a, a JSON object. To print and all, so it is the same thing. Okay. So you have multiple JSON. So control X bracket. You have to. You can pass the n number of uh, names like this. So control s will go here so how to print the json so i will just use the clg sorry clg person one control s so i think it will not print because we need to convert it to a json let's see yeah it is printing see here that is the array location this is the first json so last session so what it is in the sense so if you want to see the cricket scoreboard and everything no so it is stored in the same format only okay so all the 12 or 13 members data will be stored in the key pair value only it is going to be virat kohli and uh, virat and kohli what is the mobile number or uh, what is his century instead of mobile number S E N T U R. Okay, so this is called a century and control D and this is called a uh, how many centuries that they are done, done in this IPL? So this is the five, something like that. So first name I will use a Rohit, last name Sharma and a century one like that. Control S will go to here see here the first json object is a first name last name century 5 so if you want to display specific data so you have to call here so go to here document dot write off so it will not print i think so person dot first name and person dot last name we need to convert see person one that is control s it has to be printed see it is a undefined it is showing so we need to convert a into json dot string if i okay so uh, just you understand how the json object is there so json object means what so JSON is a JavaScript object notation. Uh, JSON means JavaScript object notation. So why we need? It is to send the data from the front end to the back end or back end to the front end. 
from one application to the another application. This is called a, a JSON object. Got it. So this is called a what you can say a JSON. So throughout your application, uh, it is going to be used this one only. So what is a JSON in this common one? So JSON is the common language to communicate between the different programming language. As like a English is a common language for to communicate. No, same thing to communicate with a different programming language. JSON is there. Another one is there. XML is there. So that will be a become a old or a legacy. Now the JSON is a more oftenly used uh, one format of a data. Okay. The next uh, we are going with the uh, one more topic is called uh, so object and functions we have already discussed so next we are going with the classes so in the javascript also it will come a classes in the where in the where um, java also it will come the uh, classes same concepts only okay so how to create so we will discuss another class now so then we can wind up today so index 19 dot HTML and the document control S okay so h2 the uh, what is it the class okay Sorry, uh, I want to again. I need to call the script tag inside the script tag. So I will uh, call the classes. So how the class? I want to create a one car class. Okay. So whenever you create a class, uh, class immediate constructor will be created by default. So constructor bracket open close place. So uh, okay let it be here the class we have created okay so now once a class is created i need to call the class with two parameters so how to do the constant a oh sorry a equals to new what is a new new is an operator to create a object okay what for the class car so here i need to pass the car name so tata next song And model will be 2024 okay so this is class is defining this is called a class calling so here what happens here we are calling the class but we need to immediately the class will create a constructor so that constructor it is going to be past the two parameter name and year okay so here this dot name so this dot name means it is going to be refer this local variable so this name it is passing here from the here and this dot here equals to here now here what happens i need to print the this object right so how to print so what is my object now here a what is happening here once you run this program what happens it will come here and it will go for the car car object so here it will go here and constructor what is whenever you create a class now immediately the constructor is created in the class then we are passing the value in the name Tata Nexon year is 2024 so this will refers to the this dot name 
means this is the local variable of the constructor this name is we are passing the value here in the car constructor okay car data on exam the value is 2024 so here it is passed so now i want to print this one so how to print the document dot get element by id bracket demo dot inner html equals to a dot name a dot year so if you want to pass the string here and control so here what happens once it will run here it will come for the car of uh, car uh, object or a constructor and it is going to be pass the two value name and year so that will be the constructor copy is created and it is dumped to the a so a dot name is it is going to be print the uh, a dot name is it is going to print the value a dot year is a this is a print the value so here uh, what is the output right click open with the live server Control shift i okay so here i need to pass the demo attribute right so h1 hash demo control s see the tata nexon and uh, so how it is passing here so a is an object name is in a value a is an object name is a value so it is going to be print the tata next one and 2024 value so this is called a, a class and a, this is called a constructor who is created by default a, the class will con, uh, a create so you can pass the n number of a object here so you can create a uh, constant d equals to new car so uh, data harrier again so if you want to pass uh, you can create a number of objects with respect to the class if i just okay i will print a here document dot write of what this one uh, b sorry b dot name equals to uh, b dot uh, what is this one here okay so you can create a n number of methods here control s will go here see this is the how it is printing fine so this is about our today's session so uh, tomorrow onwards we are going to be cover the next major topics i think uh, okay